Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to talk about new parades, new shows, new merch and everything that is happening in Disneyland Paris for 2024. So let's dive into this real quick because a lot is happening. So a lot is happening in Disneyland Paris for 2024. Together we are going to look at a lot of the big things that are going to happen. Some things that you really don't want to miss and maybe some things that you might want to skip on. So you finally saved up enough money to head over to one of the most magical places on earth. What is something that you can expect in 2024 and what are some things that you might want to take in consideration before booking your trip? Starting off strong, Disneyland Paris is introducing us to a brand new look and feel. And we are talking about brand new drone shows, parades and even matching decorations. So that is a big one to start off on. So let's start with Disney's Symphony of Colors. And that is basically the theme for 2024. For. A lot is happening within the Symphony of Color. So let's take a look at all the stuff that is happening within that theme. So starting from the 8th of January, so it's already started, Disney is bursting with music, color and a lot of fun. Disney Symphony of Colors will begin a unique experience for guests as drone make classic parade floats appear in the sky over Sleeping Beauty Castle. Disney Electrical Sky Parade is an exceptional new evening show that combines synchronized drones, video projections, lights and fountains. The dancing drones illuminate the sky with lots of magical colors. The new evening show is based on the classic Main Street Electrical Parade, an evening show that was featured at Disneyland Park between 1992 and 2003. So this parade was actually on for a very long time before they decided to head over to a new one. Disney Electrical Sky Parade gives nostalgic fans and younger fans a chance to explore this iconic experience in a brand new way like never before. So there is supposed to be like 500 drones in the sky creating this beautiful reimagined electrical sky parade. I have seen this parade when I was very little and it is so magical to be able to see this again. But with today's technology like with drones, I have not seen it in person yet but I am heading over to Disneyland Paris very soon. So if you are excited about all the Disneyland Paris vlogs, definitely stick around and subscribe so you won't miss out on that. Starting on February 10th, so it already has started, also a new parade, A Million Splashes of Color, is making a head start into the Disneyland Paris parks. And this is a colorful, fun, energetic, and new parade that they introduced after the Dream and Shine Brighter parade and yeah those are big shoes to fill because Disney's Dream and Shine Brighter parade was like a very popular one so I'm very excited to see what A Million Splashes of Color has in store for us and obviously a lot of characters are going to make an appearance throughout this parade a few of them are Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy and also some of the princesses will make a little appearance alongside Joy from Inside Out, Timon from Lion King, Vianna, Mirabelle and Asha from the new movie Wish. So there are going to be a lot of dancers, a lot of characters and it looks very promising. I even heard a little snippet of the song and it sounds very catchy so I think I need to get a little bit used to it because I was so in love with the previous one. I'm definitely convinced that this is going to be another big hit. And along the theme song of this parade, some classical songs from Disney movies will be integrated in this parade. For instance, you might recognize The Bare Necessities, You've Got a Friend in Me and a few other songs. 
obviously with a new parade and some a new vibe for the entire year some decorations cannot be missed and Main Street USA is one of those eye catchers that you need to see when you head over to Disneyland Paris so obviously Main Street USA got a complete makeover with some matching decorations that are fitting to this theme so for this season Tinkerbell and her twin sister put a little bit of their pixie dust onto a Main Street USA and they have created some dazzling decorations with sparkling colors, twinkling lights and floral accents and I have seen a little snippet of that and they have like these beautiful little fairy houses in a lot of flowers and plants and it looks very cute and even at night there are a lot of twinkling lights and it just looks so incredibly magical. They did a very good job tying in the Main Street USA decorations with the entire vibe of Symphony of Colors and a million splashes of colors. So that is something that you can really look forward to when you head into Disneyland Paris this year. At the beginning of this year, Disneyland Paris reopened their Disneyland Hotel. This hotel has been under refurbishment and constructions for a long time and they finally opened their doors to invite guests back into this magical place. And this hotel is extremely massive, so they have done a lot of work and created some beautiful suites where you can actually spend a lot of money because it's expensive, but you can just experience being one of the Disney royalties over there. So they have 16 signature suites, they have princely suite and royal suite, which are part of the castle club offer the hotel's most upscale and immersive experiences. They feature unique design elements inspired by Royal Disney Classic that transport guests to these beloved stories during their stay. A few examples are Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Frozen and Rapunzel Suites. So you can actually channel your inner Disney princess when you stay in the Disneyland hotel. They also have like brand new merch there. So the shop is also definitely something that you really need to stop by if you're in the parks because the new merch is phenomenal. So definitely go check that out when you walk past the Disney hotel. Not only the main Disneyland Paris Park, but also Walt Disney Studios is going to be faced with a lot of construction, renewing and refurbishments. So let's quickly see what is happening over at the studios. So the first the big thing is the entrance of the studios. This is going to be completely renovated and renewed in 2024. And unfortunately some restaurants and shops will be closed during this process, but there is still a lot to choose from in the other Disney park or even Disney village. But take that into consideration that Walt Disney Studios might not be the same as it used to. In March 2023, a building permit was requested for the upgrade of Studio One. The building is the largest soundstage in Europe that visitors to Walt Disney Studios Park walk through to enter the park. And this is what the building is currently looking like and what it has been looking like in the past few years. So the interior will be completely renovated, the facade will receive an upgrade with canopy and additional installations will be installed for big movie posters. The renovation will last one year and it will start upon April 2024 with a completion in mid-April 2025. The current Anculis restaurant will be completely remodeled into a garden setting with more seating. Three large artificial trees and new waiting areas. And the capacity will be up to 530 seats. Which is actually great because the current seating situation in Walt Disney Studios is not great and there are not a lot of places to sit. So this upgrade was definitely needed and I cannot wait to see the final result of this one. In addition to the upgrade of Studio One, the area around the building will also be renovated with new flooring, lights, plantings, trees, parade routes, food trucks and terrace. 
Um, and these terraces will be located in Toon Studio, Hollywood Boulevard and the production courtyard. And this work will begin in October 2023 and will be completed in spring 2025. So you can definitely expect a lot of fences, construction work and like not so magical things in uh, the Toon Studio and like in general in the Walt Disney Studios there is a lot of construction going on so definitely also a thing to keep in mind when you are booking your Disneyland stay. So we have talked about the main Disneyland Paris park, we have talked about a little bit of the Walt Disney Studios but there's also a lot happening in Disney Village and they are like imagining a Disney Village 2.0. They really want to bring Disney Village up into a new level. So in 2023, also a lot of things happened in Disney Village. They upgraded Ludwig's Castle to be a beautiful pub. And they also opened the restaurant called Rosalie. But there is still a lot more that is going to happen there. Located at the heart of the resort between the Disney Park and the hotels, Disney Village is embarking on its biggest transformation yet. Aimed at enhancing the whole experience of the dining, shopping and entertainment district. As the next step in this ambitious project from early 2024 onwards and for a duration of two years, all the shops and facades from Disney Store to Disney Fashion Junior will be progressively modified. These large scale renovations will follow the opening of Rosalie, a new French inspired brasserie which opened its doors end of 2023. So yeah, I am actually very happy that they are going to upgrade Disney Village because it was a little bit outdated in some parts. The only downside is the closing and like the construction fences that you need to face before you can actually welcome a brand new Disney Village. But this is also something that I am very much looking forward to, to experience when it is done. But we still need to wait a little bit longer for that. So Disneyland Paris is like notorious for their remodeling, refurbishments and like all the things that they want to upgrade and make even more magical for people so that also means a lot of construction fences and like a different view on your magical experience in Disneyland so in recent months the number of fences was relatively not as bad but as of right now the resort is once again full of wooden fences so if you don't want to be faced with masses of fences I recommend that you check the internet to see when the refurbishments are taking place and when they are planned to be finished otherwise your magical experience might end up looking like this and that is just a complete waste of money if this is going to be a once in a lifetime trip for you. So definitely look it up on the internet so yeah you won't be faced with all the fences. And of course there is so much more to come in 2024 and beyond for Disneyland Paris. One of the biggest examples is the mega project that they are working on right now to create the Frozen Land and the Star Wars themed area and also new merchandise that comes out every so often and it just keeps on growing is also something that I am personally very excited about because I'm always in for some new merch and I just really need those little collector thingies because it just looks great in my collection. So there is definitely enough to look forward to if you ask me. Hopefully this video gave you a little bit of insight of what is to come for 2024 and a little sneak peek to what is coming beyond 2024. So if you are planning a trip this year, definitely look it up on the internet to see if it is worth it for you to come in a specific month of time. I am heading over there like pretty soon so vlogs are coming up so you can definitely check out how the parks are looking right now in the early months of 2024. I am going to film all the new stuff. I want to capture all the decorations, the parades, the magical drone show that they are going to show and if there are a lot of fences I will also definitely 
show that to you in the vlog because I just really want to inform you guys how the parks are looking and what you are in for when you are actually booking a trip to Disneyland Paris. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me and you would also be helping me and this channel out a lot. Also, leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on these new projects. And comments also help very much for the YouTube algorithm. So definitely let me hear your voice. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and click the little notification bell so you will be updated on all the new videos I post on this channel. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!